Right. Good afternoon. I'm sorry it's been a while. <laughs> I want to get this finished because the next prompt's out and I haven't even finished this one yet. So this could be a long run. Grab yourself a cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the stitching very simple, basic. Um, let me show you first of all, I've got a new fox. Um, I found my stencil. Let me just see what you can see. Yeah, I found my stencil. So this is the one I wanted. Um, so I re did him basically there is a little baby one as well which I might use but I'm kind of running out of time so I'm just going to stick with the big one I've just stitched on his big floofy tail I think I'm going to cut it but oh, I don't know am I it's kind of behaving now it was a right nightmare to stitch on but it did go on might just stitch some of those bits down there I don't know anyway then all I did was um, I made a small hole here and stuck the end of the quill in there and then I just stitched over the uh, central part of the feather basically so yeah he's got a super fluffy tail which is amazing <laughs> so that's going to go there uh, the other changes are I've the tree's gone, the snowman's gone. They looked rubbish, didn't they? And I think a lot of you agreed. <laughs> um, so they've gone. Um, I found this white leaf trim. I was looking through my little um, box, of tr box, box of trimmy bits here. And in there was these uh, bits of white, I don't know, sort of leafy ribbon stuff. And I thought, a piece there. And a piece going across here to get rid of that plain bit there and then I cut three circles of that fabric and I've turned them into little su Suffolk puffs and that's it I'm not going to do any fancy stitching I'm just going to stitch these down and I'm going to call it a day because yeah I'm falling behind which I don't like I've told you before um I've got a I don't know I'm going to call it do you remember the suitcase yarn it's this stuff it's quite a thin one I might use that to couch the um, flower down and that I'm just going to do very simple stabbing stitches and then when I was in town last I in the charity shop I, I found this I don't know what it is I think it's a linen I'm not 100% certain but it's super soft and really nice so I'm going to do quite visible stitches up here um, on the leaf things that's what I've planned anyway could all change I don't know how long this will go on so do um, do fast forward it if you feel the need so let's get this floofy fox on because um, yeah it's time right let's get these loose bits out of the way I know exactly where they're all going because I want to get this flower on so anyway I hope you're all well uh, it's just been one of those weeks um, I normally do a lot of filming on a Saturday and kind of Sunday afternoon and it's just been crazy with the kids and that so um, I just haven't I haven't had any time <laughs> quite simply um, yeah so I apologize for that um, what did we do so, so yeah Saturday um, my youngest daughter and my middle daughter and my granddaughter Scarlett, uh, we all went into the city centre in Exeter because we were all at the point where we just didn't know what presents to get for each other. So I said, how about we do a day in the city centre and you get, you know, you get everything. Yeah, I'm just going to do some very simple tacking stitches here. I'm not going to do anything fancy. Uh, they were both up for it and I, I needed to get some clothes and that for Scarlett. And, you know, she's, you know, nearly 10 going on 15. And I said, well, you need to come in and choose what you want then. So she did that. Um, and we had a really nice day, I'll be honest with you. It was so, so nice. I treated them to lunch. I found this little kind of like hidden cafe around the, the, the back of um, Exeter Cathedral. It doesn't, well, it, I was, I was going to say it doesn't get busy, but it does get busy because it only seats about 20 people. Um, so we queued up and waited and got in there for lunch, which was absolutely delicious. Um, so we did that and then we, um, every year in Exeter on the cathedral green grass, whatever you want to call it, they have a big Christmas 
market basically which um, is on for a whole month and what the cathedral do is they put up little sheds and people rent a shed basically for the month it's really expensive so the only people you get there are the ones that really don't do handmade stuff but um you know uh, and food stalls and yeah things like that you can tell it's imported there is a couple there that i know i know make their stuff because they used to be sellers on the little market i used to organize on exeter quay um so i know they're kosher but the people there was a lovely wood carving bloke there and you could tell it wasn't you know it was all brought in let's put it like that so um but anyway we picked up some bits from there because they had some really nice mushrooms which my daughter said i said to my daughter oh i really like those she said i need to get you some more stuff would you like them and i went oh yes please so i've got some wooden mushrooms <laughs> doesn't sound exciting but they're beautifully done um yeah and yeah, as i say we just had a really nice time we didn't go in a hundred shops we just went here there and everywhere um and then my eldest daughter well my middle daughter has just made um like an open pantry in her kitchen and she wanted some really nice glass jars basically so um my eldest daughter texted us and said if you guys are still in exeter we're in ikea which itself is in um, is in exeter so i said to the girls well how about we go to ikea meet up with kathy and you can get your jars and blah 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 so that's what we did so consequently i left home at 10 o'clock in the morning and i got in about quarter to six <laughs> so i was absolutely shattered so i just yeah didn't get round to it and then sunday they've started a new car boot sale again in exeter i'm a sucker for a car boot um but it's really early in the morning eight o'clock in the morning so we went there it was on which i was quite surprised because we've had the most horrendous weather in uh well england it's not just devon but it's been all over um so yeah that was on so we spent a couple of hours there because it was quite a big one and then we got home sunday i got home sunday what did i do i can't even remember what i did on sunday but it's just you know it went and I thought I really should be filming. Didn't. Monday, again, I yeah, I don't, I don't even know what happened to Monday. And then Tuesday, it's just been so full on at work. And I mean full on, which is just so sad given what I do. Um, to the point that I'm having to swap, uh, well, do a Monday afternoon now because there's so much work comes in on a Monday that our full-time lady is pulling her hair out so i said well look for a couple of weeks and you know hopefully things will settle down ha 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 um i will do where's that from um i will do mondays um oh it's not from there and um hopefully relieve some of the pressure off of her because she is literally pulling her hair out it's just so busy so yeah so I'm not going to get much chance on a Monday. So it's Friday today. And I said to my daughter, I've got to catch up with my filming. She said, Mum, I'm grooming dogs all day Saturday. So I shan't be bothering you. So if you don't contact the other two, you should be fine. <laughs> it's right. So that's it. I can get on with my filming. So, right. That's a big flower on. Oh, missed a bit up there. Yeah. Because I had every intention of joining in in um, Louisa and Barbara's uh, 49 Dragonflies Defamarember. But I just, I don't know. I might, I might do a couple. <laughs> I don't know. It's the time. I just run out of time. It drives me nuts. It really does, you know. So, anyway. And then, luckily, I watched rachel's video and she said oh next prompt i was like um i haven't even finished my fox yet <laughs> so i thought right i've got to get on with it today right he's on i thought this was all stitched down it is it's me okay i don't think did i see i did stitch the lace going mad so yeah what's, what's the next one? Oh, a snow globe we've got to do a snow globe so that's fine. 
Yeah, still contemplating. Oh, I know what I did Monday. I did a load of gel printing. That's when I found the Fox stencil. So, yeah. Because there was a whole A4 folder that I'd forgotten was in my trolley. And when I moved all the paints out to do the gel printing, lo and behold, I looked through it and found my Foxy, the one I wanted. So, yeah. That was um that was meant to be so yeah i did a load of gel printing sorry i did it without you because i just I, I needed to get on basically and um when you're filming you don't always you're too busy concentrating on what you're saying and doing as opposed to just making stuff do you know what i mean it's um yeah i just get a lot more done basically so that's really bad stitching ignore that it's just needs doing. <laughs> Quite excited for the next 20, uh, 2023, what they've got planned. Um, it's like an English country garden or flowers anyway, something. I can't remember what she called it now. But yeah, so that'll be busy, which is good. Right, um, let's get those Suffolk puffs, which I might use this thread for them. Let's get these little puppies on here. Obviously, I've got to stitch that on as well because that's just pinned on. You're stitched, right? <sighs> We're getting there. We're getting there. So if I put that on there, yeah, that's about right. Again, just really simple stub stitches on the side. This is not going to be heavily embroidered. <laughs> There's just too much going on already. Yeah, as I say, it's just been a crazy, crazy week. And yeah. So that's enough talking, obviously. I wondered how this was stitched, and it's stitching really nice, this thread. I say, I wish I knew what it was. It doesn't have any identification inside it at all, it just says English Sewing Limited. ESL4, don't know what that means, but it's really nice. It feels lovely. It does look quite linen like, so I don't know. Might be, might not. It doesn't really matter. It stitches. Which, when it comes to a thread, is all you want. So there's some little tiny catching stitches around the sides there. More, I think. I hope I'm staying in screen. I apologise if I'm off a bit. I have zoomed you in. It's turned really cold here. Well, not really cold if you live in. Um, Alaska or something this is probably a summer's day here but um, yeah the car was absolutely white with frost this morning so um, it definitely dropped in the night so that's that but it's gloriously sunny here today I've actually got washing on the line today so hopefully it'll dry I've got to keep an eye as soon as the sun goes around the corner of the houses up the road it um, it, it just becomes quite damp feeling in my garden in the summer it was a blessing because you got rid of the heat but um, in the winter it's like oh we're never happy are we <laughs> never happy i've no idea what i'm going to do with these i don't know whether to make a book or another wall hanging like i did last time i'm not sure i don't know Sorry, I think I just went out of screen there. Apologise. Yeah, I was quite surprised actually. Although um, Exeter City Centre was, I, I would say, medium busy, um, it was nice. You could walk around quite, um, you know, without bumping into 3,000 people. And Scarlet Blesser was really good. 
he normally kicks off and I'm bored, you know. The teenager, although she's only 10. <laughs> God, they grow up too fast. Can't believe she's 10. Good grief. Don't know that time's gone. Oh, just in the corner, that's where I want you. Just might catch a little thread. Thank you. I still haven't found that thing. Um apologies, I can't remember who recommended it. It's like a leather thimble that goes on your finger here because I really get sore fingers there. When I'm stitching a lot. Um, yeah, I need to. I need to get one. <laughs> right. Okay. That on. Up the right way. Oh, pardon me, somebody at the door. Let me a sec. Sorry about that. Man from Amazon, <laughs> like you do. I've had a sort of change of mind on here. I think I'm going to use my Steph Francis thread. It's a fine pearly, and I mean, it's really fine, but it's a variegated thread because I think I want a bit of colour. I like the grey and the white, but I think I want a little bit of colour and that could be the way to do it. So, we shall do that. If I'd had blues, I would have done blues, but I don't have a blue one. So, I shall unwind a bit of that. So I think all I'm going to do is sort of stitch down the leaves. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's not planned. Okay. So let me um even up that side first. I've probably got the worst scissors in the world here for that. Blunt. Okay. That was clever. Yeah, the other little fox is there. I'll probably use it on something else. I don't know. I might not. <laughs> right. So where were you? Were you over? Oh yeah, that's the feather there, isn't it? Forgot I put that one under there. See, it's been a while. And I think the cat got up on the side and was messing around with this actually because um, it was all moved. <sighs> Little darling. Right. Let's get this end down first. What I'm hoping is. Oh, fiddlesticks, come on. Right. Stay. Just, oh, there's actually holes there. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, right. Sorry, I'll just realise that's actually split there. What I'll do is I will do like a, a long. Why does that always happen? Why? Probably because my thread's too long. Now, I really want you to stay there. Let's get this first one anchored and then I can maybe. Yes, it's actually split there. I didn't realise that. Interesting. Definitely need to put some stitches in there. Right, well I think what I might do is pause you and you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch all the way up here but otherwise this video is going to be about three hours long um, and I'll come back when I finish this one. I might stitch that one on as well. That's all I'm going to do is stitch those on and then I just need to put a couple of stitches in here and then we'll be more or less done. So let me bring you back when I'm finished. I won't be long. Right, okay, I've stitched all the leaves on, um, just simply did that, okay, and the variegation, that's um, FP28 by the way, if you, um, so Fine Perle FP28 Step Francis, okay, but it's really lovely, um, yeah, so I stitched them all down, so that's fine, I just did a couple of big couching stitches here, I've kind of left that loose, it's fine, um, yeah, I'm going to trim his tail down a little bit. I know but first of all I just want to do a few sparkly stars because there's nothing holding this down so um, although it's sort of interfaced I want it to be a little bit and I just want a little sparkle so I'm gonna do it <laughs> okay sleeves up sleeves down it's gonna be getting colder I can feel it so and I think what I'm gonna do the stars is just do i've got this um silver thread i don't know what brand it is i'll be honest with you it's yeah i don't know but it actually sews really nicely by hand 24 just needs a little bit of sparkle yeah that's enough i'm going to make my way across I just want a few across the top of the sky here. Because this has got a lot of sparkle in it. That flower that um, I used to sit the fox on. So. Yeah, his tail needs a little bit of a trim, a little bit excessive. It's nice being so floofy, but 
Apparently you can have too much floof in your life. Oh, I did. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. I, I know I told you a while ago I was going to do a diva and I did one, but I don't know what I've done with her. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'll show you that on another video. We will do one together if that's something that interests you. Um, I have been doing other stitching behind the scenes. Oh, that's what I did Monday afternoon as well, because um, I've decided to make something for my colleagues at work because we're having a proper Christmas dinner at the golf course. It would be very nice um, on the 14th. So um, I wanted to give them something handmade. Now, two of them, I know it's going to be fine because well, they like handmade stuff, but the other one, She's a minimalist. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. She'll either love it or loathe it. I don't know. Probably loathe it. Probably gift it away to somebody. And I will say to her to do that if she doesn't like it. Because I think if you are a minimalist, you don't want things in your home um, that you haven't chosen. So we shall see. I'll let you know if they like them. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to show them because I know one of my colleagues watches sometimes, so I want it to be a surprise because that's what Christmas is all about. Right, okay, so we've got a bit of a twinkly sky, and I think that'll do actually. Right, let's trim this floof down, Mr. Fox, because or is it Mrs. Fox? Because it's a little bit over the top. I thought if I use my pinking shears. It might not look too bad, um, as opposed to a straight edge, if you know what I mean. It's going to make a right mess, but... Oh, I need my the defluffer thing. I don't know where it is actually. Anyway, let's scrape that over there. <laughs> Go. Right. Are you done? I think you are. So yeah, so we could choose between Father Christmas or a fox. Obviously I've chosen fox. I really wanted this more Arctic looking fox. So yeah, I just dabbed through the stencil with um, acrylic paint, actually, I think it was. So, as you can see there. And I thought, I was going to put a little one on there as well, but I thought, actually, it was getting a little bit too much. I might do after the event, actually, and put that over there. Put in the non-floofy tail. Yeah, I might do, actually. But, anyway, let me give you a close-up and um i'll let you go so sorry about the state of my mat <laughs> there we are one floofy fox sitting in his little arctic world with all the snow and feathers and things so there i hope you enjoyed that i did put his nose on and i did a very dodgy blanket stitch around the edge it was quite small so um yeah it's okay I hope you enjoyed that anyway, and um, I'm going to get on planning the next one. <sighs> I'll see you then. Bye.